CAA Air Venture 2014 is in full swing with a huge weekend plan. We started at the crack of dawn with a refreshing 5K and ended the night with another must-see nighttime air show. Tomorrow, the One Week Wonder Project is scheduled to taxi for the very first time, but the pressure is mounting and Jonathan is worried. These guys are totally exhausted, they really are. And, you know, everybody's in there and we're down into working into a very small space. You know, it's all down in the cockpit area. They're still trying to finish the baggage rack, they've got to put the seats in, they've got to put the fuel system in, they've got to close up the front end. Everybody's in the same space, so we're all left standing around going, We're really excited to see what happens tomorrow. If you're looking for a photo opportunity, then you have to check out the hot air balloons at AirVenture 2014. It's the perfect way to start your morning. While the balloons were inflating on the field, runners were stretching for the EAA Runway 5K. This 5K takes participants through an aircraft-lined route. Event registration included free passes for the entire day. Another attraction in the ultralight area is the ICE motor, or Internally Cooled Electric Aircraft Motor. Turn your glider experience into an even quieter ride. Down in the campground, there's a vehicle that's attracting a lot of attention, but it's not an airplane. This modified school bus comes to Oshkosh every year, all the way from Ontario, Canada. It's not a fast trip, as explained by owner Jim Armstrong. I got out an old camera and I put, I put a new film in it and I set it on the table. And I said to my wife, if we pass anybody, take a picture of them. <laughs> it's still on the table. <laughs> One of the best kept air venture secrets is actually off grounds. It takes a little while to drive there and then a bit of hiking to reach it. But nestled in the trees on the shore of Lake Winnebago, is our seaplane base. A variety of planes take a break from the crowds and relax on the water. A two-plane air show routine is hard enough. Now imagine it with one pilot in the air and one on the ground. That's exactly what's happening with Matt Chapman flying his Cap 580 in the sky and Frank Knoll operating a radio-controlled Extra 300 from the ground. Both men say it's easier than it looks. All we know is it sure looks amazing from our perspective. Today was the first day of the full Thunderbird routine, and you could tell down by the flight line. What an amazing turnout and a spectacular performance that left the audience awestruck. EAA relies heavily on its fantastic volunteers. Our year-round museum docents are an integral part of the team here and were always greatly appreciated by our founder, Paul Poberezny. Paul was a very personable person and all of our volunteers were like family to him. And we had uh, activities with the docent group at picnics and so forth. And Paul generally and some, many times Audrey would attend those and so you had a one-on-one -on -one with him many times with those, and quite a fellow. For AirVenture 2014, I'm Michael Casper.